join you in person, but it's great at least to be with you virtually. Would you like me to begin? Yes, Mark, please. All right, let me share my screen with you. We have some uh, pretty cool things to share, so I want to get started right away. All right, hope you can see the screen okay. So um, today we're going to talk about the science of anthocyanins and metabolic health. Now, I'm guessing that um, a lot of you really, uh, for some reason, I'm not advancing here, so let me figure this out. All right, there we go. Okay. I'm guessing that a lot of you um, have never heard of that word anthocyanins, so I'll define that a little bit later. But first, let's talk about what is metabolic health, because that's also um, perhaps an area that you're not familiar with. Now, um, you heard from Hui Hui's introduction that I actually um, began my career really studying uh, biochemistry and organic chemistry. And uh, my first master's project was a really fun one in that I was looking at plant carbohydrate chemistry, the path of carbon. So even though that sounds kind of weird, what I was looking at was all of the chemical reactions that go on inside the plant, especially because the plant is able to grab carbon dioxide from the air and use light to split water and uh, do these amazing reactions that basically create sugar in the plant. And uh, you would not believe how many different biochemical reactions are going on in the plant while they're doing that. Um, it's so complicated, actually, that I even discovered uh, some new parts of the pathway. So you can imagine that the plant cell is kind of like this, like this bag of chemistry that's going on. Um, later on, then, I was excited to apply some of this to the human body because the human body also has a whole bunch of biochemical reactions that are happening. This is the biochemistry of life. And that's basically what metabolism is. We can take the food that we eat and we can convert it to energy. But it's so much more than that. There are all these chemical reactions that are going on that, that, that enable our bodies to react to our environment, to control the levels of salt and sugar and uh, building protein, building tissue, all sorts of things going on. So when we talk about metabolic health or metabolism, that's what we're talking about, the biochemistry of life. Now, um, there's a whole range of things that are going on, but how do we know um, if the biochemical reactions that are going on in our body are good, if they're working properly? Well, some of you are probably um, quite familiar with some of these measurements that we use that you see here on the screen. So this morning I went to my new skin uh, health clinic and you see uh, I got a little owie on my finger because they pricked my finger and they got some blood out. And then after 15 or 20 minutes, they said, oh, well, here are your lipid levels and here is your blood glucose levels, your triglycerides. Now, I'm sure that most of you have done those kinds of tests. Those are just some of the indicators of how well your metabolic health is. These are measuring parts of your metabolic pathway. But as you can imagine, um, scientists can dig a lot deeper than just you know, a finger prick and a few of those things. There are lots and lots of biomarkers of your metabolic health. But suffice to say for now um, that, that these metabolic pathways, here are some terms that sort of are synonymous or the same as metabolism. Right? So we're going to talk about metabolic health. We're going to talk about body chemistry or body biochemistry. Um, so these are all synonymous terms. It means they're basically the same and interchangeable. And we will learn today how these influence our overall health and how our bodies function. So that's metabolism. So the next question might be, well, how many of us are metabolically healthy? Like, you know, when we do these tests, um, you know, maybe on the surface, we're okay. Um, I think maybe we're a little bit above normal or in the normal range. That's what we want to hear. But there are lots of other tests. And actually, when you dig deeper into this, here's kind of the shocking result, that only a small percentage of the human population are metabolically healthy. And that results in eventually a wide range of and variety of health conditions for the rest. So only one in eight. I, I don't know about you, but that's seems kind of shocking. But actually, it's something that the new skin scientists have known for quite some time, not just us, but others. 
I remember 20 years ago, sitting in a room at the, uh, at the, at the Innovation Center at Pharmanex with our scientific advisory board, and we were discussing this very issue of metabolic health and how we might contribute to that uh, with our science. Um, it's actually taken 20 years with that frame of reference before um, I'm able to share this with you today. Um, so let's look at metabolic health also, not just as black and white, right? There's a spectrum there, whether we're talking blood pressure, blood sugar, insulin sensitivity, or some of these blood lipids that we talked about, like cholesterol. It's not always just good or bad, but it is a continuum. So in general, what leads to poor metabolic health? It's actually going to be poor lifestyle choices, as you can imagine. Uh, you're sitting around too much. Like Hui Hui said, like during COVID, you're just sitting in your house a lot more than usual. Hopefully you're getting out and riding a bike or something, but many of us are just not active enough. Um, high fat, poor diet, kind of take out foods all the time. Um, if we've allowed ourselves to become a little bit overweight, that does affect our body biochemistry. It's really interesting how that happens, but you know, um, it does. Sleep deprivation, that's kind of a form of stress. And we actually know that uh, you know, not getting enough sleep for more than a couple of days in a row even impacts our blood sugar levels and the way that our body handles um, other metabolic stress. Low intake of fruits and vegetables, high stress, smoking, of course. So uh, now think of the continuum. We're not all perfect, but some of us are doing a bit better than that. And you know, on the best side, on the healthy lifestyle choice side, regular exercise, healthy diet, healthy weight, you're getting all of your sleep. Isn't that great? Fruits and vegetables, certainly you don't smoke and you're trying to control your stress levels, right? None of us is perfect, but let's try to make the right lifestyle choices that will help us shift towards being metabolically healthy. So um, here's an interesting graph. It, you know, metabolic health isn't just about what we eat or our physical activity. It also can impact how our body can push back against stresses. Let me give you an example. I was at a BYU football game on Saturday night and uh, I bought, <laughs> I don't normally do this, but I bought, I had a coupon for a free donut and it was huge. It was about as wide as your computer screen and it was full of like this sugar maple syrup on top. And I felt a little guilty, but I started eating that and someone tapped me on the shoulder and it was the CFO of our company. And he said, Mark, should you be eating that? And, and uh, I said, oh, I'm a little bit embarrassed about this. But as I thought about it, you know, generally, I'm a little bit more on the healthy lifestyle choice, right? That morning, I'd gone on a long bike ride. The next morning, I was going to be uh, doing my martial arts class for a few hours. Um, I'd been eating right for several months. And so here's an example of, of uh, the impact that I'm talking about. The, the purple line here is like, let's say I ate that big donut. Well, then what's going to happen is in my blood, you're going to see this big rise in blood sugar. And then if I'm healthy, if I've been making mostly the right choices, then it's going to actually return to normal fairly quickly, right? After, uh, you know, by 30 minutes, it's already returning to normal and it will return to baseline after an hour and a half or two hours. That's if you've sort of been mostly making the right choices. Now, the guy next to me, um, I don't know him, but it was clear that he has eaten a few more donuts than I have. So he's probably a little less active, probably not making a lot of those right dietary choices. He ate the whole donut by himself. I only ate about half of mine. So, um, And this is kind of more what that would look like. There's less resistance to metabolic stresses when, you, when you're not taking care of yourself. So you see here that it's rising. And by 30 minutes, it's still rising, that blood glucose level. And then it takes a lot longer to return to normal and may not even return to, to normal baseline for a while. So think about how you want your body to be able to push back against uh, occasional sins, occasional stresses against your metabolism. So here are some things that we need to dispel then. Um, just because you're skinny doesn't necessarily mean you're metabolically healthy. Um, and this is, you know, this is something that we need to clarify. Metabolism, a lot of people think it just means fast or slow. If it's fast, it's good. You can stay skinny. We're not talking about that, right? As you know already, we're talking about all of the biochemical reactions that are going on in the body. So just because you're skinny doesn't necessarily mean you're metabolically healthy. Um, 
high metabolism doesn't necessarily mean metabolically healthy. As I just explained, those are different things. Uh, modern lifestyle definitely sort of tends to push you into the area of metabolically unhealthy, right? So as you know, our approach, our philosophy at the Innovation Center with our scientists at New Skin is to always um, have this, it's called the Age Lock platform. And some may think that it's all about genetics, but it's actually not. It's actually the philosophy of targeting the sources of aging. That's what it's all about. So rather than sort of the traditional approach, which is just treating the signs and symptoms, we want to understand what causes metabolic health and how we can impact that at the source. So that's what we're doing. And I want to talk a little bit about some of the work that we did. But before I do that, let's talk about that other word, anthocyanins. You may not have heard of this word before. I bet you've heard of polyphenols because we've talked about polyphenols before. I bet you've heard about carotenoids. These are some of the colored molecules that we find in plants, right? The orange, the yellow, the red. Well, anthocyanins is another class of these um, healthy molecules that we find in the plants, especially the berries and some, some odd cereals like black rice um, and purple cabbage, purple carrot. So these are the vibrant blue and pur uh, purple colors, sometimes red, that we get from certain fruits and vegetables. So you see those pomegranate on the left, those are some of the reds, but uh, look at these brilliant purple colors that we have. The color that causes that, the molecule that causes that color, generally called anthocyanin. So let's talk a little bit more about those. And well, before I go on, let me just sort of uh, tell you that we've been interested in anthocyanins for several years, almost 10 years. Because that's what we do at New Skin. We're really interested in these bioactive molecules that come from nature. So we've been looking into, um, you know, these molecules from black currant or from uh, black rice. And uh, we found from the literature that these have an interesting impact on the healthy bacteria that grow in your GI tract. And so we started to do some experiments in this area. We did some uh, preclinical studies. And finally, we did one of our big clinical studies with humans. Um, we did this study, I'll describe it in a bit more detail later, but in this study, we were looking at the impact of these purple molecules in the, the GI tract and especially those friendly bacteria. And we were measuring the bacteria and we were measuring the impact on how you felt. And, uh, you know, when we do these studies, we also always look at uh, metabolic biomarkers. The reason we do that is because we are seeing if what we're doing is safe. And these metabolic biomarkers, they're kind of like a dashboard of your car. You know, when one lights up because your tire pressure is low or one lights up because it's time to change the oil. Well, that's what we do with all of our human clinical studies is we look at the obvious biomarkers, whether it's the cholesterol or the blood sugar or other things. Some of the ones that you don't normally think about, we are looking at them. So the results came back from this study and we found, oh, nice impact on the microbiome. This is great. Uh, you know, maybe we have uh, some science here that will help to improve GI health. And, uh, and then uh, our research director shared with me the science, the results of the safety study. And when I looked at those results, I said, wow, these people look really healthy. I mean, like healthy and normal. What kind of people did we uh, use in this study? And he said, oh, we used some people that were slightly overweight and kind of sedentary uh, because we wanted to see a good effect. I'm like, well, look at this. And we both looked, he looked over my shoulder. We looked at the results and we said, look at these biomarkers. They're actually better than when they started. And so this actually was a pivotal point for us. I thought back to that discussion that we'd had with our scientific advisory board 15, 20 years earlier. And I said, I think we're onto something here. And it's something more exciting than just GI health. I think we may have something that improves metabolic health. So this is then what turned our our work. We started to research, well, how many people, you know, how much of these anthocyanins do we people, do usually people get from diet alone? And you can see from this, we did a sort of a world survey of the literature. And we found that in Australia, where I come from, over on the left there, wow, we're not doing too well. On average, we just have a couple of milligrams of these purple molecules uh, every day. And China is doing a little bit better. 
In fact, the China government has recognized that anthocyanins are important for health, and they've actually set new guidelines uh, recommending that people get at least 80 milligrams a day. So um, in China, they've got some work to do as well, right? <clears throat> France, well, I guess they're the healthiest of all of us, but they're still only getting uh, less than 50 milligrams a day and so on. Uh, from our study, uh, the ones that we've done and, and from what we've seen in the literature, we feel that the ideal dose is more like this purple bar on the right, more like 215 milligrams per day to start seeing some of the really good metabolic benefits. So um, looking from at the literature again, we wanted to see what's going on. Uh, we, there's a lot of literature that's been published in this area because others are interested in anthocyanins as well. And uh, we found from all these different studies that, for example, in adipose tissue, fat tissue, that uh, when people consume a diet rich in anthocyanins, they have increased fatty acid oxidation and insulin sensitivity. These are good things. This is the biomarkers that we want to see in healthy metabolism. What's going on in muscle? Some other studies showed, for example, that in the muscle, glucose uptake increases with a diet rich in anthocyanins. Carbohydrate metabolism is improved. In the pancreas, beta cell function, which is to do with insulin and blood lipids down. This is great. This is a healthy dashboard. And uh, also you see from this study in the liver, improved uh, bio, biochemical function. So then we started to put all of these data together. And you see here, here are, you know, remember my little finger prick, we just got, you know, three or four biomarkers from that. Um, scientists can actually look at a lot more. So look here, this is, a, this is more like the cockpit of a 747 than your car dashboard, right? But you see all of these different biomarkers that scientists and doctors use to determine metabolic health in the different tissues of the body. And as we looked at this, we looked at metabolically healthy choices, right? So if you're making metabolically healthy choice, uh, you know, not being sedentary, being physically active, uh, eating the right foods, then these are what you might see over baseline, over someone that isn't. You see, for example, that first marker in the liver, CPT1A, um, it's going to increase. That's a good thing, right? So here is like our pattern. You've seen heat maps before. This is the pattern of healthy metabolic biomarkers. This is what we want to aim for. Now, we looked at uh, all of the literature and and uh, a review of this literature showed us what happens with individuals that eat a diet that is rich in anthocyanins, you know, more like that purple bar that I showed earlier, high levels. And here's what we see. We see that for the most part, there are a couple of exceptions, but look how similar this is. So we're talking about that same population, but now they're eating a healthy diet rich in anthocyanins. And it's striking to us how important then it becomes. If you want your 747 dashboard, all of those, uh, uh, you know, to be looking healthy, everything's running great, then uh, anthocyanins can go a long way towards helping. Of course, metabolically healthy choices is also important, but wouldn't it be ideal if you could put these together, right? So the anthocyanin-rich diet helps shift your body's biochemistry to that healthier mode. And it seems apparent that anthocyanins and staying physically active together have more comprehensive benefits. And that's, that's normal, right? And uh, as scientists, we, uh, we never really say to someone, oh, you know, you can do whatever you want, just uh, you know, eat this type of fruit or that type of vegetable or this juice and everything will be all better, right? It's a holistic approach that we require, uh, you know, and that includes all those things that I mentioned before that would shift you towards healthy metabolism. But why not find natural products from nature that can help shift it and support it and complement the benefits of those healthy lifestyles? And that is what we have found here in these anthocyanins. So I could stop right now, but I think I still have more time. So I'm going to share with you some of the studies that led to the breakthrough. Now, we've been doing these studies for seven years, and we've also already published several papers in this area. So I want to share with you how we found the right types of anthocyanins, because it's a family of molecules, as I shared with you, some red, some purple, and amongst the purple, lots of different shapes of molecules, how they protect the GI tract um, and modulate inflammation and metabolic signals. Uh, and then we want to look at the longer term effects of metabolic 
health and the short term. So let's get started. We have an amazing state-of-the-art chemistry laboratory. And so the first thing we wanted to do is dig into the science of these molecules. We have uh, state-of-the-art technologies like our um, mass spectrometry. We have experts in the field. So looking at all of these different sources of molecules, uh, sort of found out, you know, uh, these all may look the same to you, but they're slightly different. And we started to rank which of the sources, the natural sources were the richest and also um, of the certain members of the family that we were interested in. Now, why are we interested in certain members of the family? Well, finding the right type of anthocyanins was important. So we wanted to see which of the fruits and vegetables, which of the berries or the cereals were richest in the ones that were the most effective. Which ones are the most effective? Here's a study using um, intestinal epithelial cells. And, you, and basically what we're trying to do is find the ones that, uh, the anthocyanins that most effectively protect those cells against some, some uh, sort of stresses that we gave to the cells. And you see here, you know, the purple bars and the striped purple bars, these provided the most protection. And we were able to identify the exact molecules, the exact anthocyanin species that uh, provided these effects, and they're called cyanidin and delphinidin. So now we knew that we should focus on the plants that provide the highest ratio of those particular um, anthocyanins. Now, once we have those, we were able to formulate the product. And uh, I'll go back a couple of slides to share with you that the three super fruits, really the super berries or whatever that, that we're able to find, the superfoods were black currant, bilberry, and black rice. So now we have formulated an extract of those three, uh, nicely concentrated. And uh, you see here uh, in some of the first studies that we looked at, that we're looking at uh, intestinal permeability and how you might improve them. So we had uh, animals that are eating a very high fat diet, kind of unhealthy lifestyle, really. And, uh, and you see here, uh, the control on the left, the high fat diet, and you can see that, oh dear, you know, lots of those inflammatory uh, sort of things are getting into the intestine and it's not very healthy. But if you feed those, uh, those mice also the anthocyanins, it's back to normal. It's providing fantastic protection. We also see here endotoxin is a bad thing. You don't want it to sort of pass those endothelial cells. And you see that even with a high fat diet, if you provide the anthocyanins, you're getting really nice protection back to sort of normal levels. Now um, here's uh, partly what's responsible for that. Remember, we were interested in the healthy bacteria. And so we're measuring the different species of bacteria. And you see here on the left, um, you know, with sort of an unhealthy diet that goes on for 14 weeks, you have a high level of these unhealthy bacteria. Uh, and this ratio is not looking very good. Um, but fed high, the high fat diet plus the anthocyanins, look at the amazing uh, change to that ratio of healthy to unhealthy bacteria. It's back to where it should be. Um, same thing here with uh, Acomantia. Here, actually, these are friendly, nice bacteria. And isn't it interesting that when you have this unhealthy diet, that the nice bacteria are reduced, there's pressure against them. And yet with the anthocyanins and the high fat diet, you still get this amazing sort of, uh, you're keeping those friendly bacteria alive and healthy, uh, healthy population. So this was a great study that showed that anthocyanins are helping to protect the GI. Now let's look at... Uh, modulation of inflammation and metabolic signals. So here um, at the top here, you see these are um, uh, glucose tolerance tests. So now we're looking at the ability of the body to sort of handle and control glucose. And typically, again, those bad habits lead to um, you know, poor metabolism in terms of glucose. And you see that if you provide the anthocyanin, then you're getting a, a nice modulation of that bad effect. And uh, here's another model that also uh, is uh, about blood glucose. Let's look at the actual uh, effect on the organs that it has. So this is pretty cool. You see here on the left here, this is a, a cross section of the liver. And these are nice, healthy little pink cells. You see all those little circles. Um, on a unhealthy lifestyle type diet, you see here the, all of these white dots. This is lipid that is getting into the liver. It's kind of making a fatty liver. And now, uh, the individuals that had 
the high fat diet, but also ate anthocyanins as part of this 14 week study, you can see how much it was able to push back against the accumulation of lipid in the liver. So this is a really nice sign. Lots of studies here that are showing a great effect. Now, I mentioned earlier that we did a longer term study, uh, an eight week open label study with humans. And uh, here you see again, this ratio of the unfriendly bacteria to the, uh, the to the friendly bacteria, right? So um, friendly bacteria here in the green, unfriendly in the, uh, in the blue. And by the end of the study, after taking the anthocyanins and little fiber, uh, you see the ratio has changed. There are more of the friendly bacteria and fewer of the unhealthy. This is a much improved uh, ratio. And here, um, this is maybe the, one of the first things that we noticed when I told you we were looking at these results of metabolic biomarkers. Um, that we see hemoglobin A1C. And this is kind of the ability of um, hemoglobin, these molecules that are in the red cells, to push back against uncontrolled blood glucose levels. If blood glucose levels are uncontrolled, they start to modify hemoglobin. And so this is a really good marker of kind of long-term effects of out of control blood sugar. And what we loved about this is that we saw that people that were sort of in the high normal range, so not unhealthy yet, but not great, not in the right direction. Um, after this eight week study using the anthocyanins, they actually uh, statistically improved that hemoglobin A1C level. So they were looking more like uh, healthy normal, which was uh, brilliant and a really nice observation. And uh, okay, so here's the acid test. It's okay to, to sort of study old fat people, but what if you're looking at young, sort of more athletic, sort of healthier looking college student age group? And what if you do it not for eight weeks, but just for a day? So here's what we did then. We had a bunch of healthy college students um, and then we, we, uh, they volunteered. I was gonna say we forced them, but we, they volunteered <laughs> to eat, eat a really high fat, unhealthy diet, like a whole bunch of these American style hamburgers. And, uh, and some of them were um, eating the anthocyanins with, with that, you know, on the same meal and some not. And you can see here that the ones that didn't had much higher levels of these plasma endotoxins. So, you know, a really nice study that showed that in a short type of what we call an acute study, uh, you know, really nice health benefits imparted by the anthocyanins. And here is uh, the, in this line graph here, you can see a really nice improvement in the blood glucose curve. Remember I shared that with you earlier, the purple and the red lines? Well, here's a practical example of blood glucose uh, over time. And you can see after the meal, um, a big increase, but those that took the anthocyanins decreased even sort of, you know, right down to baseline levels very quickly whereas it took the others much longer to get there. So these are studies that, as you can imagine, cost a lot of time, a lot of money, but really go to um, show us how rigorous the studies are that we've done in this area of anthocyanins. All right, just a couple of minutes left. So I wanna summarize with you that we discovered the right subclass and dose of anthocyanins. Uh, we show that they bolster metabolic health and, you know, we talked about some of those things like glucose and insulin and lipids and even uh, reaching over into protecting organ health. Um, we believe that the mechanism of action is probably through the microflora, um, those healthy uh, GI microflora that actually then cause the health of the gut uh, cells and then actually impact the entire body's metabolic health. And we showed um, that intermediate and longer term metabolic health are supported. It's really nice to see that, uh, you know, we're very early actually in observing this effect. And I believe that the work that we're doing is really going to help the world very soon to understand the importance of these anthocyanin molecules. We believe uh, that these are super important for health and it's kind of fun to see other studies starting now to emerge that um, actually corroborate or agree with the studies that we've done. So this is kind of a summary slide that shows you then that uh, we're impacting. These anthocyanins help to shift your body's biochemistry to a healthier state. They impact the inflammatory balance that I talked about, uh, the microbiome and your gut health. And they're also very potent antioxidants. And that's probably another way that they help. So this causes then a metabolic shift, a healthy metabolic shift. And what's the result of that? You're going to see improved immunity 
you're going to see protection of the vital organs, as I demonstrated in the liver, but it goes on to, you know, the cardiovascular system, which is also an organ, um, all these other things. And, uh, and, and the results are, of course, improved metabolism. So I hope that you can see how excited we are about the seven years of research that we've done that will help, I think, to be a force for good in the world in helping to improve people's metabolic health, uh, an issue that we've recognized for many, many years now. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Mark. Thank you so much. I like your donut story. I, I have a question later. Um, I'll save it um, during the Q&A session for my... Okay. <laughs> we'll have lots of donut questions. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Mark. Um, thank you for sharing with us this amazing science of endocyanin. I think finding the right type of the endocyanin and in the right dosage are the most important. Um, not all types of endocyanin are made the same. Um, before I invite the next speaker, I just want to remind all our participants today that if you have any question for Dr. Mark or uh, any, any question relating to HLOC reset or the science, uh, please type into the Q&A function of this Zoom webinar. We will make sure that we uh, spend some time to address those questions that you, you may have. So coming up next, um, we are going to talk about the product itself. We're going to talk about HLOC reset. The product with seven years of exclusive new skin anthocyanin research, a powerful daily supplement backed by HLOC science targeting at the core of the body's internal biochemical processes. So our next speaker is Rebecca Major. Rebecca is the manager of technical communication and education for Pharmanex research and development. Rebecca holds a degree in neuroscience from Birmingham Young um, University in Provo, Utah. She has worked in many different positions at New Skin, giving her a broad understanding of the product development process and marketing process to complement her in-depth knowledge of Pharmanex products. And in her current role, Rebecca closely collaborate with Pharmanex R&D scientists and many other departments to ensure that the scientific information is available and easily understandable uh, for, to all our New Skin markets, our sales leaders, and our customers. And Rebecca has presented to groups from all over the world, including Europe, Japan, Malaysia, Australia, and North America. Her passion for learning combined with a diverse professional background have made her invaluable assets to New Skin during her 10 years with the company. So please help me welcome Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Welcome to Southeast Asia. Are you on mute, Rebecca? So sorry. Yes, I forgot to take myself off mute. It's so good to be here with you today. Um, let me just get started by sharing my screen. Hang on just a moment. Okay, can you see that? Yes, I can. Ah, perfect. Okay. Well, I just want to say thank you to Mark for that great introduction and background on metabolic health and anthocyanins. And today, um, I'm going to talk to you about HLOC Reset. And I'm so excited to share with you all about this product that's powered by Purple. Uh, HLOC Reset helps with the effects of a modern lifestyle, uh, especially when combined with other healthy lifestyle choices. So. Wei Wei talked about this a little bit before, but what does the modern lifestyle mean to you? Um, so our modern lifestyle has a lot of benefits compared to years past, if I'm being honest. We have access to clean water, great medical care, better technology, but it's also impacted our health in a negative way. And that's most likely due to the fact that we live in a world that's always demanding our attention. And it's often chaotic. Our modern lifestyle often involves working long hours, too little, poor quality sleep, too much stress, maybe eating on the run. These are all variables that have a negative impact. So this modern lifestyle with all the chaos it entails is throwing our body chemistry out of sync and our health can suffer as a result. So some of these negative impacts um, might might be felt, but many of them are actually something we can't feel. And they're just silently having an impact on our body. In fact, over 90% of consumers agree that our modern lifestyles are taking a toll on our bodies. 
And they're right. Like Mark said, a recent study showed that only one in eight of us has a healthy body chemistry. So that means that 88% of us don't have a healthy body chemistry. And, and that's a problem. So let's, let's take a step back and just take a moment to define what I mean when I say body chemistry. So body chemistry or biochemistry is how your body interacts with your lifestyle. It can include a full range of biochemical processes and those affect every part of your body. Now that those processes impact how our body converts the food we eat into energy, how that is stored, how the energy is handled, and it also includes the enzyme catalyzed reactions that create biomolecules and that build and renew the tissues in our body. So we're talking about thousands of different reactions in our body and they all work together in a network. And that's what I mean when I say body chemistry. So an easy way to think of the nature and health of this biochemistry of life is to visualize this spectrum with healthy lifestyle choices on one side and unhealthy lifestyle choices on the other. So it could be anywhere on this spectrum, maybe on one side or the other, or moving back and forth along the spectrum. And that, that all depends on what choices we're making every day. So our goal then is to spend more time on the healthy side, right? So we wanna make healthy lifestyle choices. And that includes things like engaging in regular exercise or being active, you know, eating nutritious meals with lots of fruit and vegetables, getting enough quality sleep, experiencing less stress. I know we can't always control that, but so I, nobody's perfect, I get that. And we're never gonna be, probably never gonna be 100% on the healthy end of the spectrum. So some days we might stay up too late, happens to me pretty often. We might eat junk food for dinner because we forgot to go to the grocery store. Um, but regardless, we can all try to make better lifestyle choices that help us make that shift to the healthier end of the, the spectrum. So our modern lifestyle puts stress on our bodies. And the more times we make an unhealthy choice, the more that stress compounds. This is like Mark's donut example. So what can help us build resilience to better handle that stress? Well, it turns out the opposite is true too, right? The more times we make a healthy choice, the more resilient our bodies become. So aside from the donut example, which was great, I have a, a little bit different example, and that is sleep. So for example, if you have one night where you get only three or four hours of sleep, you probably won't feel great the next day, but as long as you get enough sleep the following night, you'll probably be okay. But then if you only get three or four hours of sleep every night for a week or a month, it becomes so much harder to bounce back from and recover from that sleep deprivation, right? And this resilience or lack thereof is reflected in our body biochemistry too. Some of those biomarkers that Mark mentioned earlier, for example. So now that we understand how our modern lifestyle impacts us and what factors play into that, it's time to flip the switch and think differently about your health. Now you can shift your body's biochemistry towards a healthier mode with age lock reset. So shifting your body's biochemistry is very important because it relates to that spectrum I talked about earlier. So by taking this product, it's a very simple and powerful way to help shift you to the healthier side, especially if you combine it with healthy lifestyle choices like being physically active. So by shifting your body's bio biochemistry to being more healthy, HLAC Reset is a powerful daily supplement that then helps with the effects of your modern lifestyle, especially when you combine it with other healthy choices like healthy eating, regular exercise, and better sleep. It's just like we talked about before where all of these things work together um, to, to combine to find a more effective solution. So this is so significant because that's what we mean by being more resilient. It's helping your body at be better able to cope with our modern lifestyles that are taking a toll on our health. And this product is another tool you can reach for when you're trying to make those better choices. 
Okay, so Agelock Reset is a truly exceptional product. And I'm sure you already know that. Uh, oh, skipped ahead a slide. Hang on a second. Okay, there we go. Um, so I'm going to share with you each one of these points in a little bit greater detail. So first, we're going to go through the scientifically proven benefits. Next, we're going to talk about how it targets the sources that impact our internal biochemical processes and how it's based on robust science. And lastly, we'll talk about how it is a completely unique anthocyanin formula, something you really can't find anywhere else. So here's the list of prove, scientifically proven benefits. When taken daily, Agelock Reset helps to support healthy well being. It helps to support your body's internal biochemical processes. Uh, it helps to provide a healthy balance of good and bad bacteria in the gut. Remember, we talked briefly about how um, it helps to impact the balance of those bacteria that we saw in our research, and that's going to help improve your gut microbiome. And then it helps to improve the antioxidant defense system because anthocyanins are an antioxidant. Uh, and that's going to help reduce oxidative stress in the body. So these benefits are all what we term systemic, meaning they have effects throughout our entire body. It's not just in one little area. So how the question then becomes, how does it do all these amazing things, right? Well, HLOC Reset is powered by purple, specifically purple compounds called anthocyanins. Anthocyanins are powerful compounds that are found in dark purple berries and black rice. And even though we all know we need to eat a wide variety of fruits and vegetables in a rainbow of colors, it turns out that people just don't, they don't get enough of these in their diets. And I bet if you thought about what you ate, you'd probably have a hard time thinking of something purple that you ate every day. I know I do. So in fact, the average adult globally gets less than 25 milligrams per day as part of their diet, and that's at best. So our research, of course, shows that we really need a lot more than that if we're gonna get the health benefits that we're looking for. So as part of our research, we looked at both the dose as well as the type of anthocyanins. And it turns out that both make a really big difference in the results you can expect. So HLOC Reset provides an exclusive blend of the types of anthocyanins that are more effective at supporting our body's internal biochemical processes. And it provides these at a dose of 215 milligrams per day. This precise dose and the specific types of anthocyanins in HLOC Reset, when combined with healthy lifestyle choices, is how it supports a variety of health aspects. And this in turn creates a domino effect of healthy benefits, which support your body biochemistry. So the net result is that it helps shift you towards a healthier mode. If we look back at that spectrum, it's shifting towards the healthier side. And just like we talked about before, when we make healthier choices, our bodies are more resilient to the stresses of our modern lifestyle. And age lock reset is another choice that can help us build this resilience to handle the stresses better so that we have a more resilient body biochemistry. Okay, so one of the things that really sets HLOC reset, reset apart is of course our success quality process. I'm sure you've all heard about this with some of our other Pharmanex products. So I just wanna start off by saying HLOC Reset also follows the success quality process. And I'm gonna give examples of each of the six S's and how it follows them. So we rely on our rigorous success quality process to enable you to be confident that you're getting the highest quality product possible. So here are a few examples of how we've applied it to Reset. First is selection. Um, with HLOC Reset, we've selected types of anthocyanins that are more effective at supporting our internal chemical processes. This is important because our research shows that not all anthocyanins have the same effect on this aspect of health. Second S is sourcing. And with HLOC Reset, it contains anthocyanins that are ideally sourced from three superfoods, 
and that is black currants, bilberries, and black rice. These three foods are rich in anthocyanins, which are what give them their dark purple color. The third S is specifications. Agelac Reset is carefully tested to ensure it meets all of our specifications. So that includes things like appearance, soft gel weight, how fast it disintegrates when you swallow it, and other factors like that. The fourth S is um, standardization. Agelac Reset is standardized to provide a dose of 215 milligrams of the exact right type of anthocyanins per serving. Since anthocyanins are the key compound in HLOC reset, it's especially important to make sure we're providing a consistent amount in every soft gel. The fifth is safety. HLOC reset is tested for heavy metals and contaminants, and that's in addition to our standard battery of microbial tests as well. And lastly, we have substantiation. HLOC reset is formulated based off multiple published studies clinical studies on this formula. So in addition to the following the success quality process, there are several other key differentiators that have really set HLOC Reset apart and that I feel like are worth mentioning. So all those studies that I mentioned that substantiate our formula, well, that's the reason why it took seven years for us to research anthocyanins and come out with this product. That's right, it, we did seven years of research and that's, I think that's more than we did with Agelock Youth to be honest, or Y-SPAN. So in fact, we've already got at least five published studies by the time we launch and that number is just gonna keep going up. So that's a very impressive number of studies to support a single product. <laughs> Another thing that really sets Agelock Reset apart is its exclusive formula that provides 215 milligrams of an anthocyanin blend. So as I mentioned before, that blend is black currant, bilberry, and black rice. And it's not something you can really find anywhere else. Uh, in fact, it's actually really difficult to find the individual ingredients anywhere either. So I, I went looking to see if I could try and replicate it from products that are available on the market. And it was virtually impossible. I don't know very difficult, especially to find any products that contained black rice standardized to anthocyanins. So um, lastly, and this is what really matters to you, HLOC Reset is targeting the body's internal biochemical processes to support your healthy lifestyle. It's targeting the source because it's built on HLOC science. Okay, so let's get down to the really nitty gritty details. How do we take HLOC Reset? It's actually very simple. You just take two soft gels daily. It doesn't really matter what time of day, just as long as you can take them consistently. Just pick a time that works best for your schedule. And if you wanna take it alongside other Pharmanex products, go for it. Um, you can see here a few of our favorite complementary products. So we have got HLOC R squared, um, HLOC Y span and life pack shown. Um, so for example, HLOC R squared is great for targeted support for energy and purification. We've got HLOC Y span, which is going to provide systemic support for healthy aging. Life Pack is going to provide a healthy nutritional foundation. And then you have, of course, HLOC Reset, which is going to help with the effects of a modern lifestyle. So these are just a few examples of great products you can pair with HLOC Reset. Honestly, you can pair HLOC Reset with any of our Firminex products. Um, these are just a couple examples, so. Okay, so speaking of other supplements, some of you may be wondering how Agelock Reset fits in and compares with other Pharmanex products. And that is a fantastic question. So to answer it, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and take a look at the bigger picture. So when we look at our health span, our in-house scientists have researched and found that there are a lot of different variables that contribute to and influence our health and wellness. So these are just a couple examples. Nutrition science, which is gonna include things like vitamins and minerals. We've got antioxidant science. That's a science of antioxidants and phytochemicals from plants. Um, we've got cell science and youth span science, which look at 
different factors that influence cell health and living younger. There are factors that influence gene expression or the sources of aging. Um, there's a whole science behind the body of science of healthy weight management and body composition. And there's a relatively newer area called microbiome science that you may have heard about. And that's the, the study of the gut microflora or the bacteria that live in our gut and have a big influence on the rest of our body. So these are just a couple examples of some of what we would consider the main contributors to a health span. Now, the thing is, it's honestly not very practical to create a single product that targets every single one of these variables all at once. So instead, we've got a variety of products and they each target maybe two or three of these areas. And this is gonna let you pick the products that you are most, that are targeting the areas that you specifically want to support or the areas of your biggest concern. So let's go through a few examples just to help give this bigger picture. Um, first is LifePack. LifePack really focuses in on nutrition science and antioxidant science. And that makes sense because it's a multivitamin, right? It provides all of your essential vitamins and minerals, as well as a phytonutrient blend with, of antioxidants. And that includes carotenoids, which Mark mentioned earlier. Um, and you can see those reflect in your uh, scanner score if you take it regularly. So the result is a product that helps provide a healthy nutritional foundation that complements your diet. Our next example is HLOC TR90, which is of course our breakthrough weight management system and body shaping system that's based on gene expression science and also healthy weight science, of course. It's a holistic approach to weight management that's gonna provide comprehensive support for achieving a healthy body weight and shape. Since it's providing more targeted support for a specific concern, it's a great option for someone who really wants to help improve their body composition or shape. So next we've got HLOC R squared. This is focused on cell science and gene expression science. It provides a blend of ingredients in R squared day that target I give targeted support for cellular energy and a separate blend of ingredients in R-squared night that give targeted support for cellular purification. Next up, we've got HLOC Y-SPAN. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this product already, but um, it's gonna focus on three areas, antioxidant science, youth span science, and gene expression science. So it's providing a unique blend of ingredients that influence multiple aging defense mechanisms to provide broad spectrum nutritional benefits. The result is of course, a systemic foundational support for healthy youth span. And lastly, we have of course, HLOC Reset. So HLOC Reset targets three areas as well, antioxidant science, sources of aging and microbiome. It's unique blend of anthocyanins help support your body's internal biochemical processes. And since anthocyanins are antioxidants, they also help improve our antioxidants defense system and they provide a healthy balance of good and bad bacteria in our gut. So that's where the microbiome science fits in. So as you can see, each of these products brings something unique to the table and together they really form a portfolio of products that lets you customize to get exactly the support that you want and need. So I know, I know a lot of people are thinking, okay, well, how do I choose? How do I know what product is right for me, right? Um, it's actually perfectly safe to take all of these products at the same time, but I understand that that's not gonna be the best solution for everyone. So you can mix and match based on your specific needs. So these are just a couple examples of simple questions that you can ask yourself to figure out what's best for you. Things like, how's your energy? How's your body weight and shape? Do you need help with a modern lifestyle? Do you need support for healthy aging? What about support for a healthy diet? Do you want targeted benefits or more systemic? These are all types of questions that can help you and your customers prioritize what your real concerns are so that you can get a the right combination of products to address those needs. 
Now, one of the most common questions that I've been asked and that you might be asked to are how HLOC reset and HLOC tier 90 compare. And that's a great question. HLOC reset focuses on systemic support for healthy biochemistry. And that's your body's internal biochemical processes, right? Whereas HLOC tier 90 is more targeted support for body shaping and weight management. So these two areas are actually complementary. Um, HLOC reset does not help you lose weight, but it's important to know that when someone starts TR90, they're making changes to their eating habits. They're making changes to their activity levels. That's all part of the program, right? And when you make those changes, those are the same changes we talked about that were healthy lifestyle changes that shift you on that spectrum, on that health spectrum. So those changes can also have a positive impact on your body's biochemical processes. And HLOC reset is another tool to help support those same shift, that those same biochemical processes. So they're very, they end up actually being very complementary, but they work in completely different ways. So TR90 targets healthy body weight and shape through supporting healthy metabolism, maintaining lean muscle, um, and supporting positive mood and willpower. Whereas HLOC reset helps support your body's biochemistry through a healthy balance of good and bad bacteria in the gut, through providing antioxidant support, and of course, supporting our internal biochemical processes. So um, I just wanted to close out by saying, I am so excited for you guys to get access to HLOC Reset. It is a super unique product. There's really nothing like it on the market. Um, and it's gonna help with the effects of a modern lifestyle. So thank you again for joining me today. And I'm going to turn the time back over to Weiwei. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you so much for sharing with us uh, more, a little bit more about the product. I know um, um, that we need some time to really digest the information that we have today. But while you are presenting, we have already received quite a few um, questions in the chat and Q&A. So my team is organizing those questions for me. Um, and we have received some already, which we're going to spend the next few minutes to answer this question that we received um, during your presentation and Mark's presentation. Okay, and if we ever run out of time, don't worry, uh, please do send those questions to us. We'll get them answered by our local trainer. Okay, so um, Dr. Mark, are you still there? I know it's getting very late. I'm there. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. The first question I have is, why is metabolic health so important? Yeah, um, you know, just let me preface this. Um, I remember 25 years ago, we started talking about antioxidant science. And man, we had a lot of basic questions because people thought, this is a crazy new area. You're talking about free radical biology and electrons. And, and you know, I know it's tough at first. But this will start to sink in. Just keep studying and learning and asking questions. Um, so the question again, why is metabolic health so important? Um, you know, I would just say that uh, a good example is that um, really what it's saying is, is your body's biochemistry healthy? With all of the chemical reactions and things that are going on in your body, it's super important that they're all going the right direction. And, uh, and it's really like, Okay, so we know it through sort of the test that I shared with you and, and more. It's almost like a crystal ball into your future. If you can make sure that your body biochemistry is healthy now, then it's going to help you uh, protect your organs and do all sorts of things that maintain life into a healthy future. And that's what we're all about, right? Health span. So not how long you live, but healthy, how healthy you are all the days of your life. And this, you know, Rebecca shared that there are a lot of approaches to this, but this is a very important one. It's the next very important piece of the puzzle. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Okay, the next question I have is for Rebecca. It's more product related. Um, will Reset be able to help in the SCS score? That's a fantastic question. So SCS score is really a reflection of our skin carotenoid score. That's what SCS stands for. So it's a measure of skin carotenoids. Um, and so it's primarily going to change when we 
increase our intake of carotenoids. H-lock reset is not standardized to carotenoids, it's standardized to anthocyanins. So we wouldn't anticipate a significant change. It's, it's possible, but it's not something that we would expect for sure. Thank you, Rebecca. And um, okay, relating to anthocyanin, what is so unique about our, our blend? And are there, are there any other competitors out there with the same anthocyanin? It's a great question. Um, there are other products on the market that contain anthocyanins. So I don't want to pretend that we're the only one because we're not, but most of them are going to be much lower dosage. Um, so there's really two things that make ours unique and set us apart from the competition. The first is dosage, of course, standardized to 215 milligrams per day. And the second is what Mark was talking about before, where we're, we're picking very specific types of anthocyanins that we know are more effective for supporting these internal biochemical processes. And that's not something you'll get from competitors. They're not making that distinction, so. Thank you, Rebecca. Hey, Mark, I have Did a question. One more thing. Here's something cool, Hui Hui. I don't know if we shared this with you, but you know, we understand, you know, the chemistry that we did was so new that we actually discovered new anthocyanins. So we discovered, uh, you know, that, delphinidin and anthocyanin, uh, that cyanidin are most effective. But did you know that uh, we also discovered a new anthocyanin molecule and we actually have the privilege of naming it? And guess what we called it? New skinidin. So actually there's gonna be a molecule in our product. It's, you know, it's part of that, that family of anthocyanins and one of them is called new skinidin. Isn't that cool? Are you joking or is this for real? Oh, this is serious, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I thought it was a joke. Okay. Um, I, oh, you haven't shared this with us. Okay. Uh, give us more information. <laughs> once yeah, we will, we will publish the study. And when the study is published and you will see that name, we will share it with you. Well, thank you so much, Mark. Oh, I thought you would have to go for, for, for one second, for one split second. It's, it's <laughs> like when you find a new star, you can name it right after your girlfriend or something. So that's what we did. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, please share with us once you have the information. Okay, Mark, the, the, I have a few questions. I think Rebecca, you can, you can also answer this. Okay, how, maybe for Mark first, how would you explain or share about age lock reset in one sentence or a few pointers? If you only yeah, have that's, seconds, what, what right, well, would you explain that? One sentence, you know, that's asking a lot. So <laughs> let's pretend that you're in an elevator and you're going up more than one floor, maybe two floors. So, you know, I... Um, didn't have much notice to do this. This is something that distributors are really good at, but I'll have a crack at it. So I would say for years, scientists have learned that stressful modern lifestyle impacts all of our body biochemistry. New skin scientists have discovered that certain purple compounds from nature can help reset your body biochemistry or your metabolism to a healthier state. So that's one attempt, right? Um, you might also, uh, there's another approach, like there's always more than one approach, right? So you could say our new skin scientists spent seven years studying human metabolic health, and we found three superfoods that contain 215 milligrams of anthocyanins to support your metabolic health. So there's, there's a few ways of doing it. You know, what we find is that we share the science and that the distributors, you guys, your leaders are so good at crystallizing this down to something that works for you. So don't just, uh, you know, the, I've given you two ideas, but you guys usually um, make it so much better than us. So uh, keep studying and, uh, you know, work out what works best for you. Thank you, Mark. Rebecca, do you want to try that as well in a sentence or a few pointers? <laughs> oh, that's a hard one to top, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's tough. I mean, with so much um, science behind a product, it's really tough to to explain them in one sentence. But it's it's okay. We we, we can we can all try. Maybe we sh we should run a competition or a campaign. Uh, what's the sure. sometimes sometimes you can ask a question. Like I love what Rebecca's presentation shared with us, and so it would focus on the stressful lifestyle. So I might say to people, you know, do you think? that your stressful lifestyle might be impacting your health some way in ways that you don't even see. And mm -hmm. then you can say, you know, yeah, it's true. The scientists just discovered that. And, and our scientists discovered some, some help from nature, right? Something along those lines. 
Thank you, Mark. You, you, welcome to the marketing team. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, moving on, I still have a few more questions. Okay, um, Mark and Rebecca, uh, what's the difference between the anthocyanin in H. reset and Y span? Ah, that's a great question. So Y span actually doesn't have a ton of anthocyanins. It does have a few. Um, if you think about it, it has purple corn in it, and that is standardized to anthocyanins. Um, so you're getting some from there, but it's a much lower dose because that's not the main focus of the product, right? So you'll get a little bit of the same benefit, but if you want all the benefits, you got to take reset. Yeah, I would add to that and just say, yeah, what, what Rebecca said is all about the dose. So um, purple corn anthocyanins, we first learned about um, how amazing they were at tickling gene expression. And that's why it's part of the many ingredients that is in youth span. But again, it's all about the dose. So focusing in on that, we've got a much more powerful dose and anthocyanins are the superstar of the reset product and, uh, and impact metabolic health. So it's uh, all about the dose. Thank you, Mark and Rebecca. Yeah, I have a question here. You, uh, both of you can also chime in to answer. Do, uh, Mark, you talk about the microbin um, studies that we have um, with anthocyanin. Do we still take probio PCC if we are already taking h lock reset? Yeah, um, that's one that uh, uh, I think is a great approach. And, and it does actually help to highlight the difference between those two approaches. So we want... Um, really healthy microbiome, right? All those friendly bacteria in our GI tract, everyone's unique and you want it to be healthy. So pro-bio pro approach is to actually introduce more of a very healthy strain of bacteria into the gut. So pro-bio PCC is live, friendly bacteria, and it's really good, you know, especially if you have upset stomach or if you, you know, if you go to a new country and the food is different and, it, you know, it will help your um, body's um, microbiome to adapt. So it's a really good product. The anthocyanins, the way that they impact is different, right? These are not live bacteria. This is more like a very potent fertilizer. So it turns out that the bacteria in the GI tract actually feed on these anthocyanins. They break it down. And as part of that, they also grow more healthy and they excrete compounds that actually become the major energy source for the cells that line the gut. So it's kind of more like a fertilizer and, uh, and the pro bio PCC is more like, you know, if you think of a lawn, you're spreading some more healthy lawn seed there. Different approach, but they are very complementary. Thank you, Mark. Rebecca, anything else to add? Uh, I think Mark covered it all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I still have good. But before that, Mark, I have, uh, remember the donut story that I told you? <laughs> yeah. Why okay, so hit, hit me with that question. Okay. <laughs> okay. I know I shouldn't take McDonald's or Kentucky Fried Chicken, but I, I have a soft spot for fried chicken. So especially during this stressful time, I, I want to satisfy myself and make myself happy. Sometimes occasionally, once, maybe once or two weeks, I will, I will want to eat fast food. So you mentioned a while ago in the graph about um, after eating that donut or unhealthy junk food, our sugar level actually spike. So can I immediately pop reset two capsule? Uh, it will help me <laughs> stabilize and go back to normal. Sorry, I know this is a, a claim question. No, I'm, I'm glad you asked it because I think that you have, you've known our customers and distributors and brand affiliates for so long, you know exactly where they're going to go with this, right? And, you know, it's human nature to kind of want a quick fix. So my first uh, answer would be, you know, think about that continuum that Rebecca showed us. And so we want to, you know, it's not just about the supplements that we take, but our lifestyle. If you're doing all of these things, then you're going to be much more resilient when it's Kentucky Fried Chicken Night, you know, Friday night, date night, and I love it. But, uh, but, you know, so long term, it's better to sort of uh, be preventive and then it's okay. You're enjoying your life and occasionally you can have food that's high fat and, and crazy dripping with uh, delicious chicken fat. You know, I love it too. But, you know, I was thinking that that study that we did did show that those students who are healthy that had a high fat meal, which is very much like Kentucky Fried Chicken, they took the product with the meal. Right, Rebecca? And so mm -hmm. it was just a, it was an acute study and it showed that even then as they took it, you know, with the meal or before the meal, 
um, maybe it wasn't after, but it was before or with, it helped. Um, I don't like to encourage sort of, uh, you know, changing your habits to be unhealthy all the time, but that's okay to occasionally do it. Remember, you build resilience. Uh, the product and the lifestyle will help build the resilience so that you can enjoy a little bit more guilt-free. <laughs> okay. I, I can have my cheat day, but I just have yeah. to I take my reset wife span and all the other products that I'm currently putting right now. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have a comment to say more cheat days ahead. <laughs> okay, so lady. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. What she is ahead. <laughs> not for you to. Not too many. Not too many. Too many. <laughs> okay. Um. Back to the question. Okay. Um. What is the benefit a person can get after they consistently take H lock reset? Is there any instant benefit that the person will will get will experience for reset? Rebecca and Mark, you can. Yeah. That, that's a great question too. So, I mean, everybody's going to be a little bit different. So the best way to know what kind of benefit you'll see is to try it and see for yourself. I don't want to promise anything because there, there is different, um, everyone's an individual. So um, we would ex expect you to start seeing some benefits, even if you've just taken it for a short time, like that study Mark referenced, like we studied it after even just a single dose and saw some benefits, um, but we also saw greater benefits when you took it longer term. So I, I would still recommend taking it consistently. Thank you, Rebecca. Yeah. Any, anything to add, Mark? Uh, maybe, you know, so I was just, you know, as we've known, as we've gone through, um, you know, many years of doing this, Rebecca, as well as myself and the rest of our team, um, you know, one thing that's very common amongst uh, individuals around the world is that they often sort of talk about GI issues, right? It's one of the most common sort of for healthy people even to have that impact, whether they feel bloating or, or things like that. So people are actually quite sensitive to various foods that they eat. Um, I expect that since this works through the microbiome and has an impact on gut health, that that's where people may, if they're going to experience immediate effects, it's probably going to be in that area. And in fact, um, you know, we got a new assistant on our floor and she hasn't taken very many Pharmanex products. And I said, well, you know, here's the latest one. Try this. And about a week later, she came and she said, you didn't tell me I was going to feel this. Like, I feel so much better. So, uh, you know, as Rebecca said, everyone's different. We can't always promise. We love to be able to produce a product that not only is a good investment for the future, you know, like you're saving for your retirement, but, you know, you don't sort of see the benefits, but you know, it's good for you. That's what a lot of our products are like. We love it when we have a product that people feel straight away. Not everyone does, but I think some of your customers will feel that. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Sure, we'll send you our testimonials. Thank you, Mark. Okay, um, questions on, can we recommend, okay, basically um, um, about uh, age. Uh, uh, what's the minimum age for recommending age lock reset? And if I were to recommend uh, age lock reset to teenager, can I just cut it by half in one soft gel a day? Okay, uh, yeah. I'll take that one. Um... So our official answer is that we studied and formulated it for adults over 18. So mm -hmm. that's the official answer. Um, since anthocyanins are present in a diet rich in fruits and vegetables, I personally don't think there would be any safety concerns with having a teenager take one soft gel a day. Mm -hmm. um, but I have to officially recommend running it past your doctor just to be sure. Okay. So Thank you. Thank you. And... Um... This question, I, who would you recommend to take H lock reset? I would say everyone. <laughs> um, yes. Above. <laughs> yes, yeah. everyone above 18. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. but if you want like specific examples of people that I think would be like maybe extra interested, um, like Mark said, people who have maybe a chronic history of gut problems might be extra interested in this because it does work through the microbiome. I've heard a few testimonials just from people at the office who, who have taken it in that situation and said it's been really great for them. Um, people who maybe just have an extra stressful of lifestyle um, or who are extra concerned about those biochemical processes, 
I think those groups of people maybe are are extra good to target, um, would want to target those problems with this product. But as you said, it's great for any adult, honestly. I'm super excited to get my hands on it personally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Anything else to add, Dr. Mark? And, and no, I think Rebe Rebecca covered it really nicely. I, uh, I really, you know, again, uh, the goal that we have at New Skin as a team of scientists is, you know, um, we, we just want to be a force for good. And, you know, there are a lot of things that we can do. And our approaches, as Rebecca has described, have been really good so far. You know, we've, we've targeted um, health span through good nutrition. And we've looked at, uh, you know, anti-aging type of products. And this is just another one where um, we just don't have anything else there to compare with, right? But the, ultimately, we don't we don't make these products unless we feel like they're going to make a difference in the world. So I think that this is one for everyone. I think it really will help change the world. Thank you, Dr. Mark. I, I, there's an interesting question here. Um, I think this person wants that to have a visual. How much fruits do we actually have to take to get that 250 milligram of anthocyanins? So, uh, yeah, gee, um, you know, we're talking about um, cups of berries or um, sort of, uh, you know, we should do some kind of equivalency, shouldn't we, Rebecca? And I don't know if you have any in your head, Rebecca. Um, well, I mean, it depends on what what fruits and vegetables you're comparing it to, of course, right? The, the level of anthocyanins you're getting does vary depending on like how ripe the fruit was when it was picked and what kind of fruit it is and all kinds of factors like that. So roughly equivalent, maybe a cup or two of berries, but the really, really dark purple ones. Um, but the fact is like, even if you know that you're supposed to be getting at least a cup or two of dark purple berries every day, like we just don't, right? It's, you know, maybe they're out of season for half the year um, or it's hard to find them or whatever the reason is. We know people just don't. So yeah, if you want to try and get a cup or two of those fruits and veggies every day, go for it. I mean, it's only yeah, going to help. That'll help. But yeah, you're right. I mean, isn't that true, Rebecca? Just the, that graph that you showed where the average consumption is really low, that just kind of shows that it's not all that easy. And we find that it's quite expensive. You know, those purple things are, um, you go to the store and they're not cheap at all. So uh, whether it's seasonal or whether it's just not part of your, kind of what the choices that you make every day, uh, part of that, that's kind of what supplement means, right? It's about sort of supplementing, helping uh, to just, um, you know, add to what you're already doing. Thank you. Okay. I think we are run a little bit running off time, but I, I want to um, still ask as many questions as I can. Sorry, leaders, some of the questions that we saw is dealing with medical, like, can this cure this? Can this cure that? I'm sorry, we can't answer this here, but we will, we will send those questions to your, to your local trainer to have them answer because this is a recorded session and we cannot uh, share this if we keep asking questions on medical uh, uh, issues, uh, medical questions, okay? So um, I, I have a question here that say, um, is there any additional benefits or side effect if we were to double dose or triple the host on H not reset? Additional Great benefit? Question. Yeah. So um, of course- Go ahead, Rebecca. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so of course the, the two capsules a day is the level that we studied in our, in our clinical trials. And so that's what our official recommendation is. And that's, we know that level will provide the health benefits. Um, it is safe to take more anthocyanins. I've seen studies up to, you know, maybe a thousand milligrams per day. Um, so I don't think there would be a safety concern with taking more, but as far as whether you'd get additional benefits, I mean, the two capsules a day is enough to provide the health benefits that we're talking about here. So, yeah, that's, that's a great answer. And, um, you know, just in general, when you look at our products and you look at the label, um, they're meaningful amounts. They're based on studies that have been done. You know, sometimes they're support ingredients, but generally for something like this, um, you know, we have the studies to back up that level. And that's, I know that there's a thinking like, oh, well, then maybe I should take more. Well, maybe you're just looking at some of these other sort of brands where they just have it on the label, but they haven't studied the amount. And so you're not sure if you're getting enough, but you're definitely getting enough with the normal dose. 
And the question just before that was, you know, when should I take them? And it doesn't really matter. Um, you can take it in the morning or at night. You can take them together or separately. Um, you know, uh, it, it doesn't matter as long as you take them. Thank you. All right, Dr. Mark and Rebecca, I think that's all we have today for questions. I don't want to hold you back too late. It's already 9.30 uh, in the evening for you. Sorry, <laughs> you should be ready. No, no problem. <laughs> Thank you so much. And please, if you have submitted your questions, we and you you have already submitted with, together with your email and contact details, we'll be having your local market team to reach out to you. Okay. And thank you, leaders, for joining me, Dr. Mark and Rebecca, today to rediscover this amazing H Lock Reset. Make sure you get your hands on H Lock Reset, which is going to be previewed exclusively only to our brand representative in November and December in Southeast Asia. So thank you, and we'll see you next time. Till then, stay safe. Have a good day ahead. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.